Today, we're going to find the missing part of a whole with an unknown missing percentage in a pie chart. To do this, it takes two steps. First, you have to find the missing percentage. To do that, add all of the percents and then subtract from 100% in order to find what you're missing. Then, in order to find the missing number, the missing part of whole, use that percent you just found to set up a proportion and solve for x. Here's an example. A test was given, and here is the grade distribution on that test. 80 students in total took the test. 10% made an F, 10% made an A, 30% made a B, 20% made a C. What we need to find out is how many students made a C. Step one requires us to find the missing percentages. If we take all of the percentages we do know and add them up, we'll be able to find the percentage of students who made everything but a C. If we subtract that percentage from 100%, whatever we have left over must be the students who made a C on the test. Now we've found the missing percentage. 30% of students made a C on the test. However, that's not what the question is asking for. The question is asking how many students made a C, not what percent of students made a C. Step two involves setting up a proportion. In our ratios, we'll put the percentage of students on the top and the actual number of students on the bottom. Our first ratio will be for the entire class, and the second ratio will be just for the students who made a C. 100% represents the total student body, so that's 80 students. For just the C students, we know that they make up 30% of the class. As for how many actual students that is, we don't know, so we'll represent that with the variable x. We'll use good old-fashioned cross-multiplication. 30% times 80 is 2,400. 100% times x is 100x. We divide both, both sides by 100 to get x by itself, and we wind up with x equals 24. So 24 students got a C. Here's another example. A cook is making lunches for 150 people at a diner. 25% got hamburgers, 25% got the grilled chicken, 20% got fish and chips, and everyone else got spaghetti. The question asks us, how many people ate spaghetti? For step one, we're going to add up the percentages for all of the other food items. This will give us the percentage of everyone who ate at the diner and ate everything but spaghetti. We find out that 70% ate everything other than spaghetti. So if we take that percentage, subtract it from everything, that's 100% of course, we get 100% minus 70%. So that's everything minus everything but spaghetti, and that will give us the percentage of people who ate spaghetti. Now we know that 30% of the customers ate spaghetti, but it's not asking for the percentage. The question is asking how many people ate spaghetti. So for step two, we're going to have to convert that percent into numbers of people using a proportion. As we set up our ratio, we'll, as we set up our proportion, we'll have percentages on top of our ratios and customers on the bottom. For our first ratio, we'll have everyone and for our second, we'll just look at customers who ordered spaghetti. When we talk about everyone, we're always talking about 100%. According to the problem, 100% of customers was everyone, and we had a total of 150 customers. 30% of them ate spaghetti, but we don't know exactly how many customers that is, so we'll use a variable x. Using good old-fashioned cross-multiplication, we can see that 100 times x equals 100x, and 30 times 150 equals 4,500. We divide by 100 on both sides to get x by itself. And so we find that 45 equals x. This means that 45 customers had spaghetti.